Hey guys, just bringing you a review and demonstration of the Presto My Gel Coffee Maker. So it's a single serve cup coffee maker for K-Cups. Um, it doesn't require any batteries or any type of plugs or anything. I saw it on Amazon for $12.99 a couple days ago. And I've had my eye on it in my ad scene on TV store, but it was about $20 or $25 there. So I just thought that $12.99 was a good deal. I wanted to pick it up and, and have the chance to um, give it a try. So it basically comes with the three sections. You have your base that you're going to put the K-Cup in. And you have the body where your water goes, and then you have the pump. Um, now you do get indicators for 6, 8, and 10 ounces of water, and I'm not sure if you can go a little above that if you like a 12 ounce cup of coffee, but these are the indicator lines. You can actually either put this cup directly into the microwave um, with the water in it, or you could just use heated up water. So we're going to jump right into it, and I'm just going to use a the original donut shop regular medium roast coffee. So you put it right down in here, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little silver needle that looks similar to the puncture needle that's um, in an actual Keurig or a single-serve coffee maker. And you'll hear like a click once you push it down onto this. You can hear that click. And you want to fill your cup. I already have hot water, so I'm just going to fill my cup to the 8-ounce line because I like about 8 ounces of coffee. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And then you carefully put your cup onto the base. So we're going to screw that on there. And there's a plastic needle in the top, actually. It's a pretty fat, sharp little plastic needle, and it punctures the K-cup at the top. So that's what's going to allow the water to come through. So we're going to put this on the cup, and you can use a variety of coffee mugs or travel mugs, but I don't think that it can be wider than, than the black base. I think that if it's wider, I mean, the base is just going to sit in it. And it doesn't secure. I thought originally that it would secure down on it or anything, but it doesn't, so... You just want to make sure that you're actually holding on to it because, as you can see, I can just kind of move this around. So I'm going to put this in. And they do say it takes between three to five pumps. So we're just going to start pumping down on it and allowing the water to come out. And I want to adjust this a bit so that you can see it. Okay. So let's start pumping down now. And you can hear it almost immediately. Um, doesn't take too much arm strength. I'm pressing pretty firmly, but it's not too, it's not, it didn't take too much strength. It just started coming out right away. And you wanna press until you can't really hear the water coming out anymore. All right, so I'm gonna lift up and let some air get back into there. I'm gonna pump down again. And I can already smell it, so that's kind of cool. I can actually smell the um, the the coffee, um, even as I'm even as I'm just pumping a couple times. I can already smell the scent of the coffee. And it's getting lower, but it's gonna be probably a couple more pumps. So we're gonna go down again. And I hope you guys could hear that. Um, that sounded really cool. You know, when the when it aerates in your Keurig or your single serve coffee maker, you can actually hear that that little sound towards the end as it presses that last bit of water out. And I actually just heard that. Um, but what's interesting is that I actually still see a little more water left. Now I heard the little sound that indicated. Okay, so yeah, it's only pushing through water now. So I guess yeah. If you just have that last teeny bit of water that didn't come come out, that's probably normal. It's not even an ounce. Um, yeah, you can just see that little teeny bit of water. So I'm just going to pull that a little bit. Oh, yeah, that was an insignificant amount of water that was left in the cup. So I think that did a pretty good job. Um, it smells really good, and I'm going to put some creamer in it so that I can test this out. So I'm just adding my creamer. And FYI, right now I'm using um, Cold Stone Sweet Cream Creamer from International Delight, and it's so good. Like, it's hard to imagine using any other creamer after you've had this one. So, 
that's the creamer that I'm using. I'm just going to take a sip. Oh, that's delicious. That's nice and bold. Um, the original donut shop isn't the darkest coffee anyway, but it's just the type of roast that I like. And that tastes just like in my Keurig, I have to say. Um, if two cups were sitting beside each other, I don't know if I would be able to tell the difference between using it from the um, My Joe and from the coffee maker. My water was nice and hot already. So it just made a really nice hot cup of coffee. Let me taste that again. Oh yeah, that's really tasty. Okay, so this definitely gets um, a thumbs up from me. I think that that's really cool. It was really simple to use, simple to understand. Um, the cleanup is really easy because you just take, it actually leaves a pretty large hole though. So you wanna be careful with those grounds, but yeah, you just take your coffee, you take the cake up out and you just toss it and, and rinse it out. Um, and they actually also give you this little, uh, the little kind of my K cup type it's smaller than the regular one but this is so that you can put your own coffee grounds in there so that's really cool too because if you don't want to use K cups and you want to use your own ground coffee just put this right in here right in the base where the K cup was and that way you can put your own ground coffee in there so um yeah I think this is really cool works really great um, made a quick cup of coffee, definitely a bonus for when you just want to take it somewhere um, and you don't have access to your coffee maker or if you just want a K-cup maker and you don't want an actual entire machine. I think it's a um, really nice little product to have and it's really cheap at only $12.99. So um, I'm going to put the link below to the to Amazon where I purchased it. And um, yeah, hopefully if you get one, you'll enjoy it. I think it's a pretty nifty little gadget. All right, bye guys.